Hi, and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Tonight I wanted to talk briefly about the deaf float problem. Uh, that's the, uh, the measuring device that measures level, temperature, and quality of the deaf fluid in the deaf tank. So we've had some failures in our fleet of the floats, not only on the cranes and heavy equipment, but also on the tractors that pull the stuff around. So we've been able to get some of the floats when we needed them. Others, we've got uh, probably 30 pieces of machinery that I know of that's down because we can't get the parts. If you have a Cummins engine in your equipment, you can take the engine number, which is going to be eight digits, call Cummins, ask them to look in QuickServe online and see if there's a TRP, that stands for Temporary Repair Practice, if there's a TRP open for your engine number. That relates to the DEF problem, DEF float problem, I should say. So if they say yes, then you can go down there and they can probably put in some software that will allow the unit to run normally and you will lose function of the DEF gauge and the red light on it may be on continually. And the system will continue to meet emission standards. It'll use the DEF like it always did. It just won't report to the driver that it's using it. So if the driver runs it out of DEF fluid, he's going to be on the side of the road derated for different faults related to the emission system. But as long as it keeps fluid in it and the rest of the system works correctly, the unit will operate normally just short of the DEF gauge not working. Once the OEM gets the parts in, you'll have to take the vehicle to the OEM. They'll install a new float assembly and they'll restore your software back to where it needs to be so that the DEF gauge function again, functions again. I can't tell you about other engine manufacturers like Volvo or Detroit. You'll have to call that OEM and ask them, you know, what do I do if I have this problem? So uh, Cummins is working on it. The OEMs and Cummins have to work together. Remember the EPA, the government's involved in this. So everybody's dotting their I's and crossing their T's so that nobody gets fined for making a mistake. At the end of the day, uh, when the parts are available, they'll put everything back to where it needs to be and it should be uh, back to normal. Have a good day and thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor. See you next time.